motorists vis-a-vis -vis drivers on the road. It promises to be another enlightening edition of Eyes on the Road. My name is Akan Usen. Today we'll be looking at a topic that, uh, of course, I'm sure you will definitely want to, you know, know about. Yes, I antioxidants. So the question in your mind will be, what is I? What are I, I antioxidants? I've heard it before. Is it a drug? What is it? What What do they do to my eyes? Where can I find them? What, what would they do? Would they prevent eye diseases? You know? So, uh, uh, this and many more would be, you know, talking about on the topic. Of course, not uh, on the show, rather. And do not forget that uh, as the show progresses, we'll definitely give you uh, traffic feeds. You know, that's why we are here. So, definitely visit um, Paru Pasu. will be, you know, giving you the traffic feeds alongside uh, Eyes on the Road. So... That's uh, what we have on the front burner today on today's menu. And uh, trust that uh, it definitely is going to be a great time. The numbers to call on the show are 080-991-20777. That's also our WhatsApp line. So uh, you can also send us a WhatsApp message. It will be amazing to hear from you whether via WhatsApp or via phone calls. You can also call 91 538 now, this show is also live on YouTube. Yes, our YouTube channel. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Uh, definitely. so that. And then there's also a bell icon. Click that so that you will always be notified whenever we have new stuff. Uh, we have new stuff every day. So you definitely be uh, always notified. And you can always follow us up. All right, enough said. It's time to bring to the microphone our expert. Me, I'll just be on the sidelines. Uh, yes, we have Dr. Priscilla. Imadi, a doctor of optometry with a PhD in public health and also the consultant optometrist at Northern Eye Care Foundation situated at Omoli Ujodipaja, Lagos. Welcome, doctor. Thank you very much, Akan. Yeah, always looking uh, lovely. Looking like an optometrist. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I know optometrists who don't look as good as you, you know. But wow. no, that's still for another My day. head is placed at that. <laughs> good afternoon, listeners. I'm always excited to be here. I don't mind that kind. He likes to see me, but no. that's fine. <laughs> well, 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 well. Last week was very, very interesting. Mm. We discussed Terry John Terry as requested John. by uh, one of our Call uh, listeners, yeah. yes. And today, again, we are talking eye antioxidants. Mm. This topic was actually requested by Dr. Sander last year. Oh. Um, we couldn't uh, take it, talk so this is a good it. time to talk about it. Anaka, I expected you to at least say something about about antioxidants. antioxidants. Yes. Yeah, give the definition mm -hmm. and all that. Oh, doctor, <laughs> for a change, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, well, it's good to know that I antioxidants. Okay. First of all, remove the eye. Mm. What are antioxidants? antioxidants yes. Yeah. See. Um, you know, on this program, we try not to use BB grammar too much medical languages. What we are simply saying we want to discuss today are the type of nutrients okay. that will help your eyes to function properly. Or the type of nutrients you need in the type in the food you are eating mm. that will help to prevent eye oh, damage. So they're not diseases. they're not drugs. They are not drugs. Okay. We so because people when they hear eye antioxidants, they you know they think it's some um, maybe supplements or something. It can come as supplements. Oh. Okay. Supplements are not drugs. Okay. So um, when we talk about eye antioxidants, we're actually looking at two words: anti, then oxidation. Oxidants is from anti. the word oxidation. Okay, so yes. anti that so against. Against, or... exactly. Now you are coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, <laughs> my associate optometrist. So, you see, as you are advancing in age, or from the time it, uh, um, a human being is born, a child is born, mm. a lot of oxidation go on in the place, uh, in your body. Oh and body. as you advance from the age of 40 and above, the, the rate of oxidation increases, increases because as your body carries out its metabolic functions, mm. that's the process by which and uh, and that energy is really as a human body. being the functions your body performs to mm. ensure that you are living as a human being sometimes the substances called free radicals mm. are you know um emitted from the body okay so and let's come down to a level free mm. radical um oh, i'm <laughs> trying to look for simple it's just like you want to cook now after cooking uh, you you the shaft of maybe the cassava you have done you throw it away you take yes. the good food the something like that the kanda mm. so sometimes so when you eat 
the your body will absorb the good ones. What it needs. Uh -huh. yeah. Then the one that is not needed would have to go. So all those ones that are not needed, sometimes some of them, there are some, you know, that will be offensive to your system. They mm. can attack the cells, the tissues, and we just we call them free radicals. They are radicals, and then they cause oxidation in the body. It's oxidation that actually causes the aging process and mm. most of the, you know, the problems we have with the body. So in the eye, oxidation is the major problem that will make somebody to have eye diseases. So what we now try to do is to look for things that will mitigate the effect of that oxidation. That's okay. why we call it anti antioxidants. Mm, great one. So all right. So uh, let's just remind listeners. Uh, so if you're listening at this time, you can call in via our number zero eight zero nine nine one two zero seven 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 and zero nine one five three eight seven seven one two seven our doctor has gone uh, to great lengths to you know explain oxidation because i know okay in secondary school we had uh, they taught us oxidation and reduction reactions i don't know is it close to that molecular reactions okay, okay they affect your cells affect your tissues so you just want to be sure that they don't cause damage mm. you know to to your body so body. all this if if it's not well covered the results in oxidative stress mm. and it's this oxidative stress actually that can make the free radicals to damage all right so, so, so a quick one uh, let's just uh, quickly do this uh, traffic update before i hand over to you uh, so Mulaj bank anthony way at this time uh at this hour it i understand is on a high note along the service lane of antoni and idiroko the influx has been manually controlled by the traffic managers on ground and the flow of traffic is steady along Mobalaji Bank Anthony Way in and out. It is a busy one along Kodesa Road inwards journey underneath the bridge. Oba Akran Road, while the return trip is good, approaching uh, uh Yes, it's uh, yeah. The return trip is good, uh, approaching that end. That's Airport Road, Mobalaji Bank Anthony Way, and Oba Kinjobi Way, respectively. Traffic on Oba Kran Link Bridge and the Airport Link Bridge is good. However, we also have traffic managers on the ground doing the needful at the various points. Uh, and I have a video here showing me uh, evidence of that report. All right, back to you, Doctor. Okay, thank you. So we are looking at eye antioxidants, and we have established that. Oxidation is what actually causes, um, it's what goes on in your eyes or in your body. And if it's not curbed, it can result in a reaction that can cause uh, damage. There's what we call oxidative stress, which are caused by free radicals okay. that, you know, uh, uh, readily occur in the body as a result of the molecular activities or mm. the uh, metabolic activities that go on every day. Every day we eat, we drink, we smoke, we go out. All these are met, uh, our body carrier metabolic activities. So all these activities, we definitely give up some, you know, um, chain reactions that may not be needed by the body. And this is what is causing damage to the body or to the eyes if it is not well curbed or, co or controlled. Sometimes these uh, forms of um, free radicals can come off you know, around the environment like pollution. We all drive cars. Our cars emit all kind of smoke. We cook, some still cook with firewood. Then there's wind, there's dust, smoke in the environment. You know, so many radiation, infection, inflammation. Mm. So all these um, uh, various uh, factors can actually result in oxidative uh, stress. Mm -hmm. So in the eye, when this happens, it can result in degeneration and different eye problems can occur so we now say that if you want to protect your eye you want your eyes to be healthy yes as much as you are carrying out these daily metabolic activities or not to you it's not like you know that these things are going on within your body it's just like if i ask you now um do you know if where how, um uh, if your kidney is functioning, you will not <laughs> feel it that is working. Okay, well, the know. blood, the blood that is moving around your body. Yeah. Do you, do you know, know the direction the is moving? Uh, those are metabolic uh, Processes, functions. I'm yeah. just trying to look for, you know, everyday terminologies that we can use to, to uh, understand what we are what we are saying. So all these things they happen, whether so long as you are living. So eye antioxidants are found in fruits and vegetables. Mm. And when you add them to your daily diet deliberately, they help to reduce or prevent this oxidative stress or free radicals from damaging your eyes. All this one we are saying, they are just baby grammar. What we are saying is that eat food 
that will give your eye good nutrients so mm. that your eyes can perform their functions optimally so that you can see well into old age, age as we always say on this program <laughs> so this oxidative stress or these free radicals or this oxidation that happens in the eye what, how can you prevent them just make sure that every day you have these um, uh, classes of food added to your daily diet that we enhance You're talking about the fruits. Eyes. Yes, the fruits are vegetable. Basically, the nutrients that will be helpful to your eyes is what we call antioxidants. And they are found in fruits and vegetables. Can we get to know about them in detail? Is it yes. Possible? Okay, so what are those fruits and vegetables? First of all, we can look at things like the vitamins. Vitamins, okay. Yes, they are good antioxidants. We call them anti. Anti, they fight. Mm, no, they prevent Just anti. against <laughs> oxidation. Uh -huh. So that's how they carry out their function, okay? okay? So we look at things like your vitamins. Vitamin A, for example. Vitamin A, okay. Mm -hmm. Vitamin A, it's very good, you know. Uh, those days when we're in school, they will tell you that if you take vitamin A, you will see, I will see better, you I will shine better, and things like that. And even now, if you give birth to a child, it's covered that they will uh, do uh, vitamin A as part of the immunization process for okay. that uh, child. So vitamin A is very good. It will help the eye, you know, to carry out its functions uh, very well. It prevents a lot of eye diseases. I don't want to start mentioning big, big names, so like <laughs> Xeroftamia. <laughs> you will not ask I don't know what because there's one that was in to what it Xeroftamia. So it will prevent that night blindness, dry mm -hmm. eye, all kinds of infections. If you take a lot of vitamin A, it's going to help because it helps to maintain the photoreceptor cells in so, the eye. So, Doctor, all these things you mentioned, are they because of oxidation? Yes. Oh, okay. See, okay, we just like went into the chemistry. Yes. The way. Um, the factors in your eye or the disease in your eye will destroy the body. The process is, we are calling that the oxidative process. So the oxidation is a natural process. It's, it's, a natural, it's bound to yes, happen. It's bound to happen. So it's bound things, to happen. It's just all you have to do is to down. slow it down, mitigate it, prevent okay. it, so okay. that, because as you are getting old, all your, your cells, everything yeah, bound is, to age. yes, it's part of the aging process. Mm. Mm. And once that happens, the functions of your eyes will start reducing. So if you take a lot of vitamin A, for example, vitamin A are good. They are strong antioxidants. Okay. They are going to help to prevent dry eyes, prevent degeneration, uh, preserve your retina, and then help the eyes to develop properly, especially from childhood. Vitamin E is also another one. And then where, where do we find vitamin A? They are all in our food, though. You find them in pumpkin. You okay. can find them in the uh, ugu, right? Ugu, yes, carrots. Yeah. Carrots, okay. They are there. Brightly, any brightly colored fruits. Mm. Yes, you find vitamin A there. Brightly, which brightly color fruits do we have again? Carrots, carrots pepe, pepe, even pepe. red pepe. Uh -huh. You know, this is uh, tatashi. <laughs> tatashi. <laughs> Okay. Yes, okay. and even sweet potato too have okay. some form of um, um, vitamin A. Sweet potato. Yes. How about the Irish potato? Yes, Irish it, it has, it has, but sweet potato has more, more. vitamin A. Yes. Oh. Almost, most of these uh, fruits, they have a little of this and a little of that. It's just that we are talking about the ones that will have them more, more concentration. Vitamin E too, you can also find them in fruits like um, anything, oil, okay. like your... Um, coconut oil, coconut oil okay. your soya bean oil, corn oil, peanuts, okay. almonds. Granite oil. <laughs> <laughs> we have to be careful when it comes to oils anyway. Okay. We have to be careful. But all the same, as we are advancing in age, yes. maybe there are some other health challenges. There are ways you can combine this food such that you don't have a negative um, response or reaction mm -hmm. from them. So vitamin E is, is okay. very, very good. Vitamin C is another powerful antioxidant. When we were growing up those days, I remember my mom used to give us, you know, vitamin C as children. Say, ah, mom, yes. You know, there's the one you put inside what I to form. Mm. Then you drink it. Say, yes, it's very good. So vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant. If you take lots of vitamin C, it helps to boost your immunity. Mm. And then when it does that too, it helps to prevent a lot of eye problems like macular degeneration. Oh, question, oh. sorry, mm -hmm. I'm interjecting. <laughs> the white vitamin C and the colored one, uh, which is better? I get, I, I, people ask this question all the time. Doctor, what do you have to say? We always encourage people to, when it comes to antioxidants, yes. 
to take these vitamins in their natural form. Oh, not the drugs. Uh, you know, sometimes when they, these things oh, are supplements, processed, as you said, natural supplements. It's good to take them like uh, in, in those natural forms. Well, so in terms fruits, of colored or non-colored, yes. Well, there is a general belief that the non-colored one is better. Mm. But because they, you know, for children, you need to sweeten it so that they can take it. Mm. You know, color. In the process of coloring, you are adding sugar, sweetener, you are adding that. sweetness, you yeah. are adding. So it's as if you are reducing the uh, effectivity of the vitamin C. But the vitamin C, even if you are not taking it as tablets or things like that, you can see them in fruits. Oranges. You can find, in fact, there's, God has blessed us so much in Nigeria that every season, there's always one fruit or the other. If I'm more than two fruits in season, there's no month that you will not find at least something that you can buy and eat naturally. So, uh, in, in a nutshell, if we make it like a habit of always eating fruits. Exactly. Okay. You, you see, you are, you are coming to my point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not somebody that said the doctor I cannot eat fruit. I say, why? He said, no, no, I just, just like fruit. Okay. Well, my children don't even like fruit. There's but the economic if, we factor. Them, if we give them the package one, they will take. There's economic factor. What's economic factor? It's what you, you <laughs> taught yourself or what you teach your children yes. that they grow up with. It's just like our choice of food in this part of the world. Mm -hmm. If you were in the northern part of Nigeria, yeah. there's a part, type of food that you'll be used to. But because you are born here, you are mm. used to this type of food. Yeah. So that's what it means. Is it's what you grow up to see your parents eating. You see people in your environment yes. that you got used to. So it's, if you teach your children the right dietary choices from childhood, they will also grow up to like those type of foods. So there are quite a number of them. The B vitamins as well. These are anti at any class of vitamin at all. They are uh, antioxidants. In addition to that, we have some special ones like the lutein and zeaxanthin. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And these ones, they are not a bit so <laughs> common, but they are still available. Yeah. You find them in dark uh, green vegetables, like your F4 Tete, F4 anything, F4 Riro, anything green, green vegetable. You are going to find lutein there, and then it's going to help even your egg yolk, your broccoli, lettuce, kale, any Thing that is green, you will see it there, and then it helps the macula. The macula in the eye actually is the highest concentration of um, kind of let me call it power in the eye. That's the sh your sharpest point of vision is from the macula, it's the macula that empowers your eye to be able to see. Oh. So, when you protect it very well, it's going to work, you know, it's going to enable you see very well into our uh, old age. So, these vitamins. These lutein and zyxanthines, this antioxidant that we are talking about, we should make it a point of duty to add it to our daily diet. Lack of, you know, vitamin C in your diet can result in cataracts. Wow. Yes. Okay. If you don't have it too, it can result in macular degeneration. Okay. Even repeated infections in the eye. When you, the body is deficient in these vitamins or these antioxidants, Infections, inflammations can come up, dry eye syndrome, and so many diseases can actually creep up, you know, in the eye. So it is good to ensure that, you know, we make these vitamins, these antioxidants, part of our daily diet. Okay, somebody once asked me, says, Doctor, how many carrots will I eat that will be enough <laughs> to help me to be able to see very well? That's where the um, idea of supplementation comes in. Okay. Because sometimes you may require a large amount IU to be able to, you know, um, see or fight against certain diseases. For example, when somebody comes in and the person has cataract or macular degeneration or even glaucoma or so many other eye problems, yeah. we prescribe these antioxidants to them as supplements. Okay. They are not drugs in itself and we are not saying stop your glaucoma medication or stop your... Uh, um, cataract medication or any other managing. Man, yes, because of this no, but add them to your diet so that it can help to reduce the effect of oxidation mm. 
you know, on the right. Okay, let's take a quick look at uh, the traffic situation. At uh, this time on the third million bridge from the Adekule and inwards Yunela waterfront, it's a good movement all the way down to Ilaje, Iyanuru. All still good for now. Also, movement towards Alupo Mejin was Bagada down to Charlie Boy is good for those plying that route. Charlie Boy back to Bagada in what's Ifako is still a free flow. Also, looking at movement from Bagada towards third million bridge on the return journey is looking very good. Do not forget in the final few minutes of this show, you can still uh, connect with us 080 That's also our WhatsApp line. You can also call 091 538 seven seven one two seven i would love to hear from you we're talking about eye antioxidants and uh dr priscilla Imade has taken us to the classroom uh so I, I will be asking this question so there was i remember this uh word antioxidant eye antioxidants you were brandishing it about a long time sometime around uh, the december period when you were talking about the christmas juice uh so how do we tie this together Yes, yes, yes. We are still talking about having this vitamin. Yes. Having the uh, fatty acids, having the zinc, the lutein, the xanthine in your diet. Mm. You know, the Christmas juice is just a natural way that um, you can produce your own juice at home that will contain these antioxidants, antioxidants okay. or these nutrients that the eye require. So if you are able to do them by yourself at home, instead of buying packaged ones or the synthetic ones okay. or the non-organic ones, you'll find out that you, know, you may not be able to get all the nutrients as, as required. So I want to encourage everyone out there that if you want your eyes to be healthy, you want to see very well, please make antioxidants part of your daily routine mm. now like um, the person that requested this topic i i saw him you know we're just discussing and i looked at this and i said ah papa your eye is red though, because he's baba i said baba your eye is red though. ah why not and then he t he came for examination we gave him medication and i told him okay add this antioxidants to your daily you know uh yes. diets to supplement what you are already taking mm. and Immediately he added them, he noticed a significant improvement in his vision, in his eyes, the coloration of his eyes. He was always having red eyes at the time. Coloration of his eyes and even his general health. So he was so, so happy about Apart that. From his visual. Yes. His body, his health. Because the vitamin C will not only work on your eyes, it's going to work on your general Other health as well. Body. Because your body needs vitamin C, mm. it needs vitamin B, it needs omega 3 fatty acids. You need lutein, you need zeaxanthin, you need vitamin A. So all these things, once you are able to just like package them together and you know supplement with them, is going to help. And then you look at our environment. A lot of pollutants, mm. irritants everywhere. Smoke. So yeah. all these free radicals, they are just they are just in our bodies. And then you see the way cancer too is everywhere now. Yeah. The kind of things that you know i mean they are like these days it's like uh, it's it's uh the uh, occurrence of cancer so too in, much it's it's, it's, it's just too lot. much even organ failure you hear yes, small children i mean this within child you hear uh, even some having bpsf and you say <laughs> organ has failed this one and you want to come on what's happening so a lot so if we can make a deliberate deliberate effort to add antioxidants to our daily diet, it will not only help our eyes, it's also going to help our general health. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that the eye is not in isolation. The eye is part of your body. Part of the body. If you keep your body healthy, your eyes will be healthy. If you keep mm -hmm. your eyes healthy, it will also go a long way in making your body um, healthy. And don't also forget too that whatever happens to your body ultimately will tell on your eyes. So. Make sure you uh, put uh, in, include lots of antioxidants as part of your daily diet, and then your eyes, your vision is going to improve. For mm. it, and don't forget to get a copy of Dr. Priscilla Imade's book. I know she'll pick it up and she'll show it to the camera. They are here. They are here. Come, come, come. Let's what? look. Pay yes, what? let's go to um, uh, chapter thirteen. Okay. When you go to chapter thirteen, I have a list there of um, fruits that you can you can actually take oh, okay. and then if you also go to chapter 15 so the recipe for that christmas juice is, is here it? mm. it's in Red. this book so mm. please all these things we are saying you can buy the book and read more about them so that um you can have good eyes mm. into a good age it's been a great time on the show and of course like i would always say it has become sort of our mantra that no one should go blind is why we diligently bring you the show every week 
dear listener, we value your feedback uh, on topics discussed to better serve you. And uh, please continue to share your thoughts. Feel free to visit past episodes of the show, of course, at your convenience. Uh, go to our Facebook page, go to our YouTube channel. Uh, I would prefer you go to our YouTube channel at this time. And uh, the YouTube channel is Traffic Radio 961. And uh, like I would always say, don't enjoy alone. Share, share, share. Search for the keywords, eyes on the road. And, uh, you know, just enjoy and learn. Dr. Priscilla Imadi is a doctor of optometry with a PhD in public health. Uh, okay, uh, OD, MSc, PhD in public health, consultant optometrist at Modern Eye Care Foundation. And uh, you uh, can reach them at the address plot 16 to 18. Ogunusi Road opposite Omole Estate Phase 1. That's uh, by Akiode Bus Stop, Ucho de Berger. And you can reach her on 08033. 336672. That is 080-3333-6672. Don't forget to get a copy of her book, I Care the Right Way. Simple guide. Okay, so on behalf of the production team led by Micah Arocha, our executive producer is Tayo Akonle, and my name is Akan Usen. Do have a safe drive to your destinations. Bye for now. See you next week.